Hi everybody and welcome to Monty's. This is Monty's style. We're doing taste and today we are doing original macaroni and cheese. And I mean the original, not the hmm, where you just pour cheese on it and mix it. We want mac and cheese, not the cheese and mac. So here are the ingredients. We have mozzarella cheese, cheddar cheese, we have some other cheese that I can't name because it's a name brand, but you know, it sounds like Edida. <laughs> but, and we have some American white cheese, and we have our six eggs, which I'm gonna scramble, some heavy cream, and our seasoning, which is really easy. So let's get started. But first, you know, first thing that we should always do is make sure that your noodles are cooking for eight minutes. Once you have them cooked for eight minutes, I usually cook them for five to six minutes because I'm going to put them in the oven because I want them to not fully cook. I want them to sort of cook in the oven with the cheese and everything else. So let's get to work. So we're going to scramble up these eggs just like this. That's simple. Our noodles are almost done because I turned them off so they can get al dente. And then we're just going to take our seasoning, which is, you know, most people use salt and so everything else. I use a lot of other seasonings that I like and most of my friends tell me that they like that because it's really good. So now, now that that's scrambled, scrambled nice, I want to tell you that you should already, already have your baking pan ready okay have your hot surface for your noodles and your cover for your mac and cheese to go on top okay so the reason why I scrambled the eggs first is because when I'm going to pour in the heavy cream I don't want to make it thick and creamy so then now I'm going to lightly mix this in. I'm not going to scramble, I'm just going to fold it in to make sure it just mixes with the eggs really nice. So you see that? It's pretty cool, huh? So now we're going to do that. And now that that's like that, what I usually do is get half a cup of water and I pour it inside of that mix of heavy cream, mix that in there. Sometimes I want it just the cream a little bit lighter than what it is. I put that in there and put that on the side. And now I mix that in, I fold that in nice. And that's done. So now I'm gonna put this to the side. And what I'm gonna going to do, what I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is grab my noodles now, stir them because they're done. And I'm going to pour them into my colander which is great. Get it all in there. Make sure it's nice and empty. And I'm gonna put my pan on my hot surface right here next to my baking pan. And now I'm gonna shake those noodles, make sure there's no water in them. Just like that. I'm gonna check the oven, make sure it's on. The oven should actually be on 375 or 380. Or some people put it on 400 to cook faster. I don't. So now that that's done, I'm going to use the same pot, guys, and pour the noodles back into the pot. You see that? And now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to take my mixture, take my spoon and put that in there, and mix all of that in there. Really nice. And I'm going to put that to the side with my colander. And I'm going to mix that in just like that. So now what I usually do, I take my loose cheese and I fold that in just like that. Get it in there. Man, I want to lick this bowl. I'm a cheese lover. All sorts of cheese. You see that? So now I've got that all in there. Put that back down and now I'm just, I'm just gonna mix that in. 
So, if you want to see what this looks like, I will show you. It's really easy. So now that this is all mixed in, this is what it looks like. Can you see that? See, it's nice and mixed in. Everything's mixed. It's getting sort of cheesy there, huh? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this sit just like that. And I'm going to wash my hands. I'm going to pull up my sleeves because now I'm messing with raw food. I have to touch cheese. So I, I have an issue with people that make food without washing their hands first. But I would only do this with cheese and not like potato salad or meatloaf. I would wear gloves because that's really raw food. That's really gross. So, can you see how far I washed my hands up? I washed them really up there. So just in case anything falls, put that there. And now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my cheddar cheese, a handful, that's it, throw it in there. I'm going to take my mozzarella cheese, a handful, throw it in there. Put it back down, just like that. Excuse me guys, I have to cover the names. Because they're not paying me to show them that. Once they do, I'll show the um, names. So, you mix that in, you get that in there nice and thick. Just like this. It seems like it's getting a little too thick. Grab a little bit of the water, mix it back into, just throw it in there because it's because um, cheese will suck up a lot of the juices. So now you want to just mix it in. So now it's nice and loose again. Just like that. You don't want it so thick. Okay. I just added a little bit more water. You see that? It's nice and cheesy. You see all the cheese? It looks really good. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to place my ingredients into my bowl. I'm gonna pour it in there just like that, nice and easy. I'm gonna make a layer, just one layer, just like that. Put that back down. And now I'm going to take my American cheese, put it there. I'm telling you my secret, guys, this is my father's recipe. Come on, Habarillo. Good guy. Mean house. All right, so now that we did that, we're going to take our cheddar, cheddar cheese and spread it here. Just like that. Spread that there. Just like that. Put it nice. I'm going to take our cheddar, our mozzarella cheese, spread that there. So all together we have like five different cheeses. I know you saw me pour four, but what's in that melted cheese is two other cheeses. So that's actually five. So now we're just going to put another layer. Get it in here. See how it's nice and gooey now. There we go, look at that. Nice spread, huh? I'm just gonna spread it out. Get it nice and even there. There we go. And we're just gonna put our cheese in again. Cheese in again. Oh, cheese, cheese. 
And when you go to the store, ask for three dollars worth of American white cheese. That's all. Because that's all you're gonna you're gonna use is probably all of the fat. And and that's cheaper than what you would buy if it was already prepared or how they ask you to buy it by the pound. By the pound. That's how my mother used to do it. She would always walk in and say, "Can I have two dollars and fifty cents worth of da da da?" And she would come with all this nice lunch meat, and everybody was paying like a pound or something and have this much lunch meat. But now, quick tip, guys. Now that that's done, we're going to take our cheddar cheese, and we're just going to spread it. We're just going to spread it. There we go. Looks good, huh? Stop salivating at the mouth. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to myself. Come on, get hungry. All right, and now we're going to take our mascarata, and we're going to put our cheese there, just like that, just like that, just like that. And I'm going to add a little, just. Now that's done. So now we're going to take our aluminum foil, which is non-stick, which is great, and we're going to just move this to the side, please. And we're going to take it and pull down first. Make sure it's covering the whole pan and place in, just like that. Squeeze, squeeze. Make sure you squeeze them by the end of the pan, so it's there, just like that. You see that? See how those ends fit in nice? And now you're going to just find the end and press in and go around it. So it stays nice and tight. Okay? Just like that. Nice and tight. And then you're going to come back to the pan in there. Going to come back to the bottom. Press in again. And go around the edges and press up to the pan holders. There we go. Go around. Press up to the pan holders. Put it in. Now this is going into the oven at 380 degrees, 380 degrees for 20 minutes. You want to check it. You don't want it to like dry out. You want it to stay moist. So here we go. I'm going to put that in there. Yeah. There we go. I'm going to clean up. My way. <laughs> I'm a foodie. But actually, I'm going to clean up and I'll see you in 20 minutes when that's done. All right. All right. I'll see you, everybody, in a few minutes. Hi, everyone, and I'm back. It's been about 15, 18 minutes. I say 18. That mac and cheese is ready. But since I was cleaning, I made myself a drink, one of my special drinks. <laughs> Oh, that's good. I'll tell you what it is. It's plum and cranberry and coconut rum with some diet, I'll say it, diet coke. It's really good. <laughs> All right. Let me back around to you, I know. Okay. So first, let's get one of our cooling. Put it over there. These things are really good. They hold up to like 500 degrees of heat, so nothing damages your counter. It's pretty cool, guys. So purchase some. Let's see what this looks like. Oh my goodness. It sounds delicious. I can hear it. Let's take this foam off. There we go. Look at that. Can you see that? Wow. Now that looks incredible. And I mean, yes, that looks so incredible, but just do me one more favor. Come a little closer. Take a little peek. Come on, bring it in. Bring it in, take a look at that. Let me show you that. Look at that. <laughs> that is so such a like I go la la I like. So, all right. All right, guys, I like to say, that we're gonna let this cool down and we're gonna have mac and cheese. 
and I'll show you what it looks like when it cools down. Actually, I can show you now. Let me get myself a little spoon, because <laughs> why wait on my booty? So. The crew hates when I do this, but I don't have a choice. I have to show the audience what it would look like. Look at that, see, 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 look at that. Now that, come on in, come on in, look at that. Look at that, that is the way mac and cheese is supposed to be. Look at that. Put a little dip it in there. Look at that, oh. oh. Can I take a little more? Look at that, oh. I'm gonna take a little more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna get a little taste. Mm, 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 excuse me. Mm, 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 mm. It's somewhere. Got it. That's good, guys. Wow. Wow. Mm, wow. Excuse me. Oh, I'm doing a show. Okay, gosh. Can I scrape my little bowl? Mmm. Mmm. Oh, all right, guys. I'm sorry. That was just rude. I don't care. I'm a foodie. And when you're a foodie, ain't nothing like some good food. It might need a little salt for you, not for me. But. After you pull it out of the oven, let it sit just a little bit. And even when it sits and you dig in, after about 15, 20 minutes, it's still nice and cheesy and macky. And stop. Okay. Hey now, smile now. I gotta go, cause look at them. They telling me I couldn't have any, but they were like finished it. Yeah, but okay. But this is my taste doing taste, and this is my tea style. Hit me up on what? Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, whatever you have. I probably have it. Ah, ha, ha. All right, I gotta go. See you later. This is my tea style. Bye, guys.